The European Union has given the final green light to a landmark overhaul of its migration and asylum policies that will see hardened borders and shared responsibility among member states as campaigning heats up for Europe-wide elections next month. Now, this new pact on migration and asylum was officially approved by the 27 nation bloc's economy ministers, ending more than eight years of work to rewrite the rulebook for handling people who enter Europe without authorization. Now, a majority of member nations backed the reform's 10 pieces of legislation, ensuring its passage despite opposition from Hungary and Poland, which have long rejected the idea that all European countries should take in a share of arrivals. But these new rules, which come into effect only in 2026, they actually lay out the guidelines for screening people to establish whether they qualify for some kind of protection like asylum or deportation if they are not allowed to stay. What can we expect with these new rules in the EU? Well, the new rules lay out guidelines for screening people. So tighter control of migrant arrivals is on the radar. Faster processing at the EU's borders is something we are looking at. And closer cooperation with countries of origin as well as transit. Mainstream political parties believe that this new pact provides answers to questions that have divided nations since more than one million refugees and migrants entered Europe back in 2015, mostly fleeing wars in Syria and Iraq. They also hope that these new reforms will starve the far right of vote-winning oxygen in the upcoming European Parliament elections that are scheduled from the 6th to the 9th of next month. But critics say the pact will let nations detain refugees and migrants at borders and fingerprint children. The new measures, they argue, are aimed at keeping people out and infringe on their right to claim asylum and will result in more dubious political deals.